In today's video, I'm gonna clone a $50 million app without writing a single line of code. And I know that sounds crazy, but my goal is to prove to you that you can build an app if you simply have an idea and know how to write a few sentences in plain English. And the best part about this is I'm gonna prove to you in this video that you can do it and you literally only need one tool. So here's how it actually works. Okay, now the app that we're gonna be recreating is gonna be Cal AI. This basically allows you to track your calories with just a picture and this app right now does anywhere from 37 to 40 million dollars a year so if they were to sell this app it would sell for way more than 50 million dollars which is the goal of this video so the way that we're going to do this is coming over to bolt.new and then typing out a prompt like this i want to create a calorie tracking app to compete with cal ai build me a full featured ai powered calorie track app not just the landing page, the app should use, and then you want it to actually input the things that you're gonna be using. For example, AI image recognition, barcode scanning, natural language to input and log meals, to estimate calories and macros, etc. Then I go through, I tell it exactly what it should include, and then I give the app structure, the onboarding structure, and I also give it what the style should actually look like here. Now, if you don't have a full blown out prompt like I have right here, you could come over here to plan and go back and forth with this in order to actually plan out your app, or you could click on this plus sign right here and enhance your prompt. In fact, even though I have a pretty good prompt, I'm gonna click on this anyway and get this to go through and make it better and actually enhance it. And we could see that this is rewriting this incredibly quickly, and it could have done that if you only gave it just a sentence or two. Now. In addition to that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this plus sign and I actually have a bunch of different screenshots of the app that I'm looking to recreate. So I'm gonna upload them all in here. I'll also just pull them up quickly right here so you can see what they look like. It's basically just a screenshot of what it actually looks like and we're gonna be using this as reference images because Bolt is absolutely incredible at looking at those and building something that's even better than it. And if you wanted to, you could actually import things from Figma or GitHub if you had that. But otherwise, we're gonna click on build now right here, and then this is going to go through, this is gonna think through the process, it's going to come up with a plan, and then it's going to build this app, which is insane because otherwise, it would have taken us tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars to build this. We would have had to know how to code in order to build this, but none of that is true anymore. We could do this simply by coming over here, writing out a pretty good prompt, giving it screenshots of exactly what we wanna build, and then this is gonna go off and actually do it, and we could see this created a plan over here, and now it's gonna begin ticking all these things off. Now, while this is doing this, I'm gonna go probably make myself lunch or go do whatever I want, and then check on this once it's done. Okay, so now that this is about to be done here, I wanna call something out. So we could see that this literally went through, it created the database, it created the authentication setup. It went through and created everything that needed to be created in order to build out this app before it shows us anything. But the most important part is now this is going through and testing and verifying that this actually works. Because with other vibe coding tools, you don't have this last step happen right here, and then you have a terrible result. Result. You have an app that might look good, but isn't functional at all. And that's not what Bolt is going to give you here because it goes through, it tests, it verifies so that it doesn't actually waste your time. In addition to that, we could see that the database is configured right here. What does that mean? That means that you don't need a bunch of different tools. In fact, if we come over here and click into database, we could see all the different tables that were created here. And under here, we're gonna be able to access a ton of different settings. We could see the name of the app. We could see the agent that's used inside of the app. For this one, we're using Claude Agent. We could see what context there is the project visibility, we could come into the domain and hosting. Now, once we actually publish this, we could change a domain if we wanted to, to a custom domain. We could see the analytics here. We could see, again, the database. We could see the logs, do a security audit. We could come into advanced right here. We could see all the different server functions. Any API keys that we need to add, we'll be able to access from right here. We could add in user management, file storage. We could add in knowledge here that Bolt will actually use when thinking about this project. We could see all of our backups and any other personal settings straight from inside of here. And again, the reason that I really wanted to call this out is because Bolt allows you to have one single subscription to integrate hosting, database, auth, payments, and domains all configured automatically by the agent. I didn't have to come in here and set up Supabase or set up tables right here because 
Bolt V2 runs on enterprise infrastructure, aka Netlify and Superbase, and I don't have to go through and set it up. They do it for me. And this is the same exact stack that powers things like Uber, Stripe, Twilio, and other tools. So you're in good hands. Okay, so now this has gone through, this has actually created this, and we could see that we could view this via responsive, iPhone 16, Pixel 9, or on a Galaxy 24, and we could go through and we can actually interact with this. So this is what the login page is going to look like. We could come over here, we could click on sign up, and then I'm gonna fill in this information and we'll see what the onboarding looks like. So from here, this is going to go through, this is going to ask what my name is, I'm going to say Rob, it asks what our goal is, I'm going to say gain muscle, then from here, this goes through and I'm going to tell it that I am on a paleo diet. And as we can see here, now this is going to be what the app is actually going to look like. We could see today's calories right here, today's meals. Obviously, I just logged in, so none of them are actually logged. We could see progress over here, which is going to show our seven-day average of how many calories we've had per day, weekly overview right here. And then we could come into settings right here and change these at any time. Now, what makes Bolt really convenient is that now you could come over here and you can say things like, I don't see a plus button because I don't see that right here. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to say that. And then this is going to go through and this is going to build out this change. Now, I do want to be realistic here. You're going to have to go through and you are going to have to build out several different changes in order to actually get this app to be where you want it to be. But as we can see here, this literally goes through now and this builds out whatever we actually need simply by selecting, pointing, clicking, and then boom, it goes off and does it. We could have it change fonts. We could have it change colors. We could have it build out entire pages. And this goes over here then, takes all the actions that need to be taken in order to build out whatever features we want to see. So this now went through, this added in this plus, and we could test it directly in here. So we could click on this. We can now see that we could log in our meal, breakfast. I am going to put two egg whites. This is then going to ask us the total calories. I'm going to put 250 and we are going to log this meal right here. Now, then when we come back over here, this should show all of our logged meals, but it doesn't look like it does that yet. So again, we have to go through, we have to troubleshoot these things and actually get this app to function the way that we want. But as you can see here, this was great at building out the shell of this, and now we just go through and perfect this again without writing a single line of code and just pointing at the selector, telling it what needs to happen, and then it implements the change in seconds. And before you know it, you have an app that in the past would have cost hundreds of thousands of dollars to build, and you can compete with people making $50 million a year from their app straight from Bolt. So now that the app's actually built, I wanted to walk you through how I would go about getting your first 100 customers. In fact, I wanna give you three different strategies that you should implement to make this as easy as possible. But before I do that, I wanted to remind you that you could go to the pinned comment below and try Bolt V2 for yourself today. If you're tired of wasting time with vibe coding tools that just feel like they don't actually get you anywhere, this tool is going to change your life. Now, the first strategy that you're gonna to wanna to implement in order to promote your new app is you're gonna to wanna to come over to the app that you're gonna be competing against and see what type of people are promoting it. A lot of times they literally go through and tell you this on their homepage. So this tells you exactly which influencers are promoting this app. Now guess what you could do? You could reach out to these influencers or you could find other influencers that look exactly like this. In addition to that, what you could do is you can come over to TikTok right here, come over to the search bar and you'll be able to search for this. So I'm going to type in Cal AI and then guess what this is going to show me? This is going to show me all the viral videos that are happening about Cal AI. And then guess what you can do? You could go through and you could recreate these videos on your own. You could recreate these videos with AI avatars, or you could implement the next hack that I'm going to show you, which is if you come over here to real.farm, this right here is insane. In fact, this is use case number two, which is going to be using automated TikToks to drive traffic to your website. This video right here walks through exactly how you use this, but essentially what this allows you to do is build out these slideshows right here on TikTok and look at how good these are. These go through exposing the gym tips that were worth it and not worth it, and it's made several videos about this, and a bunch of them have done really well or gone viral. Guess what you could do? You could spin up a bunch of TikToks 
a bunch of Instagrams, a bunch of YouTube channels that are all posting content like this in order to promote your app. And again, you're not doing this by guessing. You're literally just coming in here, seeing exactly what worked, what did really well, and then recreating it. Because the name of the game here isn't that you need to be better than the app that exists. It's that you just need to steal some market share from that app. I want you to think about this. Every single time, especially if you live in the US, you go to a gas station, what's across the street? Another gas station. You go to a bank, what's across the street? Another bank. And this should prove to you that competition shouldn't be something that scares you, but instead something that excites you because you could take market share away from your competitors, especially in the age of AI. Now, the second thing that you could do is you can come over here to labs.google and come over to Flow and you will be able to create AI generated videos for free. You literally just come over here, you type in new project, you come over here, make sure you're using either VO 3.1 or VO 3.1 quality, both of them have audio, and you can come over here and type out exactly what kind of video you want to create and it will go off and make it, or you could do ingredients to video. Let's say that you have a photo of a model or of an AI generated avatar. You could actually upload that as a photo right here. For example, I'm gonna come over here and I am going to create a headshot or use a headshot of mine. We could come over here, we could actually input this in here and then we could say what we actually wanna make me say and this will go off and make an AI generated video for this. And again, you could do this over and over again on different social medias, on different social media pages. And this could be your strategy for actually marketing your app, a bunch of different AI generated videos. Now this brings me to strategy number three, which is going to be coming over here to google.com. And let's do a search for something like cow AI. What you notice is that they show up three times organically. Guess what you could do? You could buy an ad and take out an ad and put it above theirs that says cow AI alternative or cow AI better alternative or whatever the case is. And this will actually allow you to then show up. Number one, a bunch of people don't realize that's an ad. They'll click on it and they'll begin to download your app. And guess what? This isn't the only one. If you come over here and type in calorie tracking app, guess what? There are a bunch of different things that show up here. And as you can see, you could pay to rank number one here. In addition to that, this shows you other people that are also doing the same thing. So again, you could go to their TikTok, you could go to their Instagram, you could go to their website, see what they're offering, and then just offer a better version of it. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I strongly suggest you check out this video right here that shows you how to create AI generated videos that can help you promote your app with ease. I'll see you over there.